Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video. Um, I guess it hasn't been that long, but I just feel like it has. I've been like so super busy. Um, I have updates for you guys. I have kind of decided to go back to my natural hair color. I still have some blonde color in here, but this is kind of close to like my natural color. I just got my hair done yesterday. Um, I didn't get any color put in it. I just kind of got a roller set, but I'm really digging my blonde color. So I think I may stick with this for a while before I go back to my orange that I absolutely loved. So I'm excited about my hair. Um, yeah. I am going to do something different on my channel. I have some new stuff coming your way. I feel like I've been doing a lot of like empty videos, my recent empties, my monthly favorites videos, um, my um, kind of hauls of different things that I get. And I think it's great. It's very much needed to do those videos because you want to see, you know, what's out there and um, new things that come out. So I'm definitely going to continue doing those. But I feel like I haven't been really doing tutorials lately. And I'm not too happy about that because that's the whole reason I started this channel in the first place. I mean, it's one thing to have, you know, all the latest, you know, products and stuff like that. But you need to know how to use them as well. So I'm definitely going to be posting more tutorials and one thing that I'm thinking about doing that I've never done before so this is going to be new. I'm thinking about palettes a crap load and I do mean a crap load of eyeshadow palettes. I don't need to buy any more eyeshadow palettes but I probably will anyways because that's just you know I'm just obsessed with eyeshadow. So um I'm going to try to like once a week, that's what I'm going to try to do, I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to try once a week to post a um, eyeshadow tutorial using one of the palettes that I own. So using a different palette every week and doing a tutorial on that particular palette. Um, so that's going to be interesting because I have a lot of different palettes, a lot of different shades, a lot of different colors. So that's going to be, you know, kind of neat. So if there's any palettes out there that you guys have been looking at that maybe you want to see tutorials on or maybe a certain type of look that you want me to post a tutorial on, please, please, please comment below um, and let me know what it is that you want to see because I'm going to be doing a lot more, you know, kind of tutorial type things. Still going to be doing hauls. And speaking of hauls, this isn't really a haul, but it's kind of like an unboxing first impressions, I guess you could say. I recently discovered Ipsy subscription box. I may be late, but I just Ipsy subscription. Um, if you're not familiar with Ipsy, Ipsy is a monthly subscription glam bag where you pay ten dollars a month, and around the middle of the month, Ipsy sends you a glam bag that has um deluxe size samples of all different products, beauty products, skin products, hair products. Um, you basically, you know, you go online, you set up your, um, you know, profile and you take a beauty quiz, what kind of products you like to use, your complexion and all that good stuff. And based on your responses, they send you different things every month. So I received my first one today. I'm excited about that. Um, this packaging is just so cute, by the way. I mean, Seriously, I love that. And, you know, I'm a pink fan anyway, so anything that's pink, it's just like, I love it. So, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what's in my August Ipsy Glam Bag. So, let's get right into it. The first thing that was in my bag is this little um, piece of paper. And this basically tells you what the theme of the bag is going to be because every um, month they have like a different theme for the bag. So this month's theme is Beauty Schooled. So looks like that. And I thought this was a really cute idea that they did on the back. On the back it says, Want to win amazing swag from all of our Beauty Schooled brands this month? Enter our Glam Bag Challenge and teach us a thing or two about beauty. Write down your favorite beauty tip on this notebook and post a pic of it tagging Ipsy and Beauty Tipsters on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We'll share all your entries in our Ips 
Ipsypedia on Facebook. So it basically looks like a little notebook and then you can write your beauty tips in there and then just take a picture of it and post it. So I think that's a really cute idea. I'm definitely going to do that once I finish this video. So that was cute. So let's get into what was in my bag. Um, this is the Laboratories Chlorine, I guess that's how you pronounce it, K-L-O-R-A-N-E, Chlorine. Um, basically, it's an extra gentle dry shampoo with oat milk. Um, it's for frequent use and it cleans hair without water. So um, that's pretty neat. I've never used a dry shampoo. I actually have to ask my stylist um, about this because I'm not sure if I, you know, with my hair type that this would be good for me. I'm not sure what... Um, the dry shampoo claims to do it doesn't um, say on here what it claims to do it just says um, directions shake well before use evenly spray a small quantity of powder 12 inches away from the head directly on the scalp leave on for two minutes and brush out so I don't know but it smells more milky than like oatmeal it smells you know pretty fresh so that's, you know, something interesting that I haven't tried before. And that's why I'm loving these glue bags. So I can try different stuff that I haven't tried before. The next thing I got in my bag is Jersey Shore Sun Mangongo Nutrient Dense Anti-Agent Lip Conditioner. It looks like that. And um, this is in Mandarin Green. It just says Mandarin Green Orange Ginger at the top. So I guess that's the whole... Um, scents or whatever oh it smells so good it smells like lime it smells like all that stuff it smells like lime mango all that good stuff it's green lip balm um so i'm looking forward to trying that because you can never have too much lip balm as far as i'm concerned because girl you got to keep them lips moisturized you can't be walking around with chapped lips you know so the next thing that i got um, oh my gosh, I forgot to show you the bag. So this is the bag that everything comes in. Sorry, I probably should have did that first, but oh well. Yeah, this is super cute. So I would travel with this. I would keep this in my purse. This is cute. Okay, so the next thing that came in my bag was this is a Mana Beauty Simplified Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. And it looks like that. Mm -hmm. And I've never heard of this, never used this, so I'll tell you what it claims to do. It, and I am really have to look at this because I do not have my glasses on. An incandescent liquid that lights up skin with all over radiance mixed with foundation or wear alone. Great for all skin types to provide a natural luminous glow. Use on face and or body to create a youthful glow and illuminating finish over finish share genius sorry okay so basically um you know it's kind of like one of those glow type lotions so i'm going to take it out it doesn't smell like anything it just smells kind of lotiony it's pink this is what it looks like swatched and rub it in so you can see it basically blends into my skin um, and it doesn't really look like too glowy. It's just kind of like blends into my skin. But I mean, wearing it by itself, maybe it doesn't make a huge difference. But I wonder what it look like would look like mixed into my foundation. So I'm going to try that tomorrow morning when I put on my foundation. And this may be really, really good stuff. So looking forward to trying that. The next thing in my bag, eyeshadow! Yay! I love eyeshadow! Um, this is a Coastal Scents um, eyeshadow sample, and these are the colors. And these are so cute. This is Vibrant Blue here, and then um, this one here is called Deep Eggplant, and then... This one here is called Candlelight, and this one here is called 11 Midnight, or it could be the other way around. No, it looks like this one's the 11 Midnight and this one's Candlelight. Anywho, these colors look so cute. I've been hearing everybody um, on Instagram talking about Coastal Scents. I've never used Coastal Scents, but 
I will be using them now. So I'm going to swatch these so you can see exactly how they look. They look, you know, kind of pigmented. I mean, some of them are, you know, easier to see than others. So I swatched all of them so you guys can see how they look. So this is that blue shade. Um, let me look and see what it's called. Okay, so this one is the Vibrant Blue, which to me doesn't look all that vibrant, but maybe it'll show up different on me. This is Deep Eggplant. This is Candlelight. And this is 11 Midnight. So that's what they look like. So I'm looking forward to trying these. I'm always excited to try new eyeshadow colors. But this blue color just looks so pretty. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Okay, so that's the bag, but I do have one more thing in here, as you can hear. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting to try this. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't judge me. I'm excited, seriously. Everybody knows I'm an Urban Decay, just kind of sort of love Urban Decay's products. Oh, my gosh. And this is the... Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I have um, the other Glide On pencils. I have Perversion, I have Smoke, and I have another color that I can't think of right now. And this color is called Plushy. Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eye Pencil in Plushy. This is like a purple type shade. And um, the little book that it comes with you open it up and it basically looks like that on the inside. And so, you know, this side kind of tells you about the product. This side is kind of like a tutorial on how you can um, mix it with eyeshadow, with two different eyeshadows, and you can basically get a smoky look if that's what you choose to do. Um, and it tells you what type of lip liner and lipstick to pair with it to get this look so that's neat um and then on the back it tells you about all of the 24 7 velvet pencils um it looks like they have five different shades so um i guess these are different than the 24 7 glide on eye pencils which i have this is the 24 7 velvet glide on eye pencil so i think these are specifically for smoky eye but I will swatch this for you. Um, it's, you know, that's what the pencil actually looks like. So it's, you know, a deluxe sample size. Um, this is gel, so it goes on just so easily. And this is how it looks swatched. So it's just a very pretty plum purpley type color, which I'm excited about trying. Um, I really like these pencils. Perversion is just my absolute favorite, my go-to black eyeliner. Um, you can use it on waterline, you can use it up on your upper line, you can smudge it out to make it smoky, or you can do like a very thin line like what I have here. It's just great. So that is my August glam bag from Ipsy. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely comment below and let me know um, types of things that you would like to see on my channel. Stay tuned because I do plan on posting a um, my first eyeshadow palette tutorial um, this weekend. So if you have a eyeshadow palette that you want me to use in a tutorial, please comment below like this video and let me know what you would like to see love you guys and i will talk to you guys very very soon bye